Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Siriana Tarot. This is going to be an energy check-in love reading for my dearest Scorpios. Scorpio, we're going to take a look at the person most on your mind or your current situation. And if these messages resonate with you, I am going to ask that you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's see what clear messages and guidance come through for my dearest Scorpios for their highest and greatest good. Okay, so we have the star card in reverse. So some of you are feeling a little bit unsure of the future, whether it's unsure of the future of this connection or just your future in general. Okay, you have someone here, Ace of Swords in reverse. They're viewing you as the Two of Cups in reverse, the Ace of Pentacles. And we do have the full card. So it does look like you have someone here that you're probably not in communication with. Um, they haven't told you the truth about how they really feel. And it does feel like you're in separation or you're broken up from this person. They are really worried they've missed an opportunity here. We have the full card as your final advice and outcome. So it is about taking chances, taking a risk, taking a leap of faith here. For a lot of you, it may be about working on this connection. I don't think this person has told you how deeply they care for you, how much they miss you. Um, I'm not really reading that Ace of Swords as somebody that who somebody who has lied to you. Um, I'm reading it more as somebody who has a bit of a blocked throat chakra, or again, somebody you're not in communication with. It looks like there's been some sort of tower moment, all right, some sort of big upset or some sort of major shift here. Okay, and the Nine of Wands in reverse, okay? Somebody here is feeling really exhausted, <clears throat> and we have the King of Cups in reverse, and they're not giving emotionally. Now, this could be you, Scorpio. It could be your person. Feels like there's a lot that's been left un unsaid or that needs to be said, but the King of Cups in reverse tells me, um, yeah, it's like, it, it's almost like I don't, you're not giving to this connection or your person isn't. There's some sort of exhaustion. Maybe there's been fighting, bickering, and arguing, or there've just been a there have been a lot of obstacles here. The Ace of Swords in reverse tells me your person again has left a lot unsaid. Um, the Six of Wands, they do want victory here with you, Scorpio. And this person definitely sees long term with you. That's what they want. They want partnership, they want, you know, power couple energy, they want to build, they want stability. Um, they're viewing you as their two of cups, but they're seeing you as in separation or that somehow this is imbalanced right now. Um, this person has a lot of love for you. They see you as the knave of wands, passionate, powerful. They see you as the king of wands. They see you as definitely a boss here. They see you as somebody who manifests what they want, a go-getter, somebody who's adventurous. They're very passionate about you. This person wants victory with you, but they're really worried they've missed an opportunity, or they might be worried here that you just want to be single, that you're not looking for partnership. Okay, we have the knave of chalices, sorry, the knight of chalices here. So somebody maybe wants to be indulged. Hmm. For some of you, Scorpio, this person might feel like you don't want to be in a relationship or want to be in a relationship with them, and that's why things have ended. This person's really worried. They're really, really worried that they've missed an opportunity here with you and that you're, I don't know if you're gone for good or you're moving on from them. Some of you, maybe they know that they were wish-washy with you in the past, um, or there were just a lot of obstacles and challenges that made you feel wish-washy about them, about this connection. The full Aries energy is about taking a leap of faith in a new direction. And we see the Knight of Swords in reverse. Um, and we see the Ace of Cups in reverse. And we have Judgment. This person wants to make things right or wants to bring things into balance. And I do feel that they're trying to manifest you. They're probably spending a lot of time hoping that you'll reach out, that you want to work on things as well. But I feel like this Knight of Swords in reverse is like this person has a hard time speaking up. I think that they're really heartbroken or there's a sense of lack or loss here with the Ace of Cups in reverse. And I feel like if, you know, if they wait too long, you certainly are going to move in a new direction. Um, I feel like a lot of my Scorpios, it's with a very heavy heart. Um, 
I, I, I feel two people here are feeling the loss. People are both are feeling quite sad. Um, let's see what's going on. Let's see what else we need to know about this person. You have a big decision to make here, Scorpio, if you want to, if you want to work on things with this person, I, I feel like they do want to work on things, but we are getting this liar energy. So some of my Scorpios, you're not trusting this person. Um, that could have been a tower moment that maybe you felt like, you know, they, what they did versus what they said wasn't adding up. Some of you, they didn't tell you the truth about something. Um, for others of you, I, I just, I keep getting more so than like a liar that this person has a hard time expressing their feelings. Okay, so they come off as quite confident. They're really not. All right. And some of you, you've met this person online. So maybe, you know, this person isn't exactly what you thought they were going to be. And we do see work relationship. They do want to work on this connection with you, though. Some of you, you might know this person through work. Um, but I do feel this is somebody that wants to get on the same page. They're really worried they've missed an opportunity with you. But it's like they really need to speak up or someone here really needs to speak up, or it is going to end up in a missed opportunity in love. And it's going to take some sort of risk, whether that's on your part, Scorpio, or on theirs. Um, okay, let's see. What else do my Scorpios need to know about this connection, please? Okay, so you and this person definitely have a soul contract. Some of you, you've been, you. this is a purely online connection and there's some sort of fear that they're not who they say they are or, you know, maybe you're starting to see that, you know, how they portrayed themselves isn't, isn't exactly accurate. This person is going to reach out. I think they are going to take that leap of faith and reach out. And if you do want to talk to this person and you have them blocked, you might want to unblock them. All right, and the Grim Reaper. Yeah, the relationship is over. No second chances. Grow and transform your life. So some of my Scorpios, maybe it is over for you. For others of you, that could be your fear or this person's fear. And I definitely see there's potential for that to happen if you don't have a very honest, authentic conversation with one another. This person does want to chase you. Okay, it's like they don't want to let you go. Um Okay. So I would expect communication, but you know, a lot of my Scorpios, this person, they want to make it up to you. They want to come back around. Um, the decision is going to be up to you. It's really going to be up to you if you want to deal with this person again. All right. And surround yourself with love. Okay. So to me, this is an energy of just surrounding yourself with people that love you, that you love, that build you up surround, you know, lean on your inner circle. We're all just stardust. So I do feel like your person here is just trying to figure it out. I always feel like there's a little bit, there's definitely a hopeful energy with this card. Like, you know, we all make mistakes. Again, I'm not recommending you go back to somebody who's lied to you or cheated on you or somebody you can't trust, but it does feel like this person maybe has made some mistakes. I, I just get a kind of an energy of like needing to be a bit more forgiving there. And we get focus on here and now. So stay present and it comes with time and practice. So we see this energy of confidence. I feel like this person is a lot less confident than you realize about this connection. Okay. Um, I'm going to just pull a few more cards here for you, Scorpio. Any, anything else my Scorpios need to know here, please, Spirit? Anything else my Scorpios need to know? Third party. So... You could be dealing with a karmic situation, okay? So again, for some of you, if there was um, a betrayal or they lied to you about having a third party or, or something along those lines, that might be confirmation that it's definitely time to move in a different direction. Um, for others of you, there's karma here that needs to be healed and needs to be relate, released. Spirit does say that this connection serves a purpose, that there's a personal evolution within this relationship. So again, I do feel like there's karma that needs to be, that needs to be cleared. Um, so very, choose wisely, Scorpio, if you want to deal with this person. Again, all of your situations are going to be different. Try to stay really present Know that this person misses you, wants to get on the same page. They're worried they've missed an opportunity. But again, some of them, they have missed an opportunity with you, you know, because they didn't act right or they didn't step up when they needed to. But for others of you, again, this person, they want to come in, they want to put on the work, put in the work 
And yeah, they're a lot more insecure about it, but I do think that they're going to take that leap of faith. So again, Scorpio, the ball is in your court. Okay. I'm going to leave it here. I'm sending you so much love and light. And if these messages resonate with you, I am going to ask that you hit that like button, share, subscribe, check out the description box for ways you can get a private reading or if you like the cards I'm using, or if you want to follow me on TikTok and Instagram, love and light. Take care.